Dark Matter Extractor. That's always super useful. Mostly just hoping I can get some more materials uh, processed in here. So we don't want to go there. I guess let's hit the last couple of these. The more of these we find, the better we're off we're going to be. And we have enough fuel to get there. If I played Overfall, a little bit of it. I didn't really enjoy... Uh, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. It... I ran out of food. And it pissed me off. Um... I'd probably play it again at some point. Though, uh, honestly, somebody had told me about a game... Was it... It's like... Band of Brothers or something close to that. That looked really fun. And I would love to, um... I'd love to pick that one up. Uh... Because I, I know, like, some people, like, tried to convince me to play it, like, years ago. But I never got around to it just because I was kind of busy. Um... I guess let's just... Chuck mines at him. Yeah, here we go. Um, is that there we go? Yeah. But now nah, the the problem is, Overfall I just played and I couldn't get into, and it it made me sad because it looked really fun. It looked really pretty. Um, but it just it was one of those games where your characters would like get injured, but no, stop just taking time. Um, your characters would get injured, but you wouldn't be able to heal them. Hello. Oh, we've got pirates. Okay, oh, cut is something. Let me get this straight. You trust that mutant Zlar to continue the Admiral Admirax's legacy? So what if the, he's a little unstable? You weren't at Scorpius. You didn't see that maneuver he. If we're talking about piloting skills, why not Willow then? To me, it sounds like someone's a little bit bi biased against Zlar. Listen, say what you want about Yablings, but you can never doubt their profit motive, right? Hey, I hear you. Everyone except Savak, right? That collective thing gives me the creeps. You said it. Okay, so we're getting attacked by pirates. This place is dead. We're not taking any time. Let's send the fleet oh wait take a little bit more time did I not get to Jamiga? oh here we go oh we got a refinery at Jamiga I will take it perfect okay send oh really it costs no fuel to return home well that's a nice touch I like that yeah I found the food system a little punishing it's unplayable, if not uneasy. Yeah, that was the problem. I don't like that kind of thing. I, I don't like games where you have to, like, keep yourself upkept with food. Unless, like, you fairly... You generally have enough. It just is a little bit of, like, you know... What's a, what's an easy way of saying this? I like it better when the upkeep system doesn't isn't punishing. I, I prefer it to be, you know, sensible and... And I'm trying to think of games with good food-based upkeep systems. I guess Banner Saga had a really good, really good food system, honestly. Um, because like that that was super solid. I I I really enjoyed that game. Because if you made the right decisions and you played well, you generally didn't have to think about it too bad, uh, or too much. But Overfall, I was just like, oh, I took a ton of damage in combat. Better heal up. Oh, now I'm starving to death. And there we go. And it sucks. Oh, uh, well. Let's see. So what do we've got? He's almost dead. I hate, I hate it when this happens. Doesn't matter too much, though. Okay. This might blast him. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. And he evaded. Good stuff. Okay, getting a distress call from the signal uh, sector. It appears to be pirate in origin. Okay, so now we start getting the pirate distress, distress, uh, distress calls. Well, let's bop back to the station for a second. Do we just go back? Perfect. Okay, so we get a bunch of materials. Less than I thought, but still enough. Let's go Starbase. Let's build Officer Academy. Three days remaining. Do we take a break? Do we... Let's go out and hit the last couple of ones of these. What we want to do is is get every single one of the, uh, the mines producing. Technically, uh, some of these are going to be maxed out a little bit faster than others. 
repair all, and go. Yeah, we want to have all of them producing because it'll be faster. Okay, we got a crew production facility, and this one seems to have a fair amount. Three crew per day. And we're not going to be able to make it back at every time, sadly, but that's all also fine. Stop. Okay. Uh, show location. So we've got a new candidate. We have one more reroll. So we do have... These. Inflicts engines down. No. These are bad. Reroll. We want somebody that exploits blind or probably better hull breach. And we definitely don't want another science officer. Wait, really? It didn't reroll Enya Khan? Ah, that sucks. I guess I don't have much of a choice, or this one will probably be okay because I can pick a ship anyway. Okay, so here we go. I can train an officer, improved learning habits, uh, extra EXP from combat. Yes? Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. It requires one, and it takes ten days. Well, let's train another officer. Uh, or not. Unlocks an additional officer slot. Okay, how long is this going to take? Eight days. Uh, would you like to start the test before leaving? Yes. Okay, so instead of ha having to build multiple... Oh, that's that's really nice, actually. Okay. Part of the reason why I want to do that specifically is because we need to make a new ship. Um, ships. The ship man... Ah, ship construction. Okay, here we go. So we've got a rogue. Rogue exploits sensors offline, inflicts engines down, sabotage vulnerable. Let's take... Che uh, check this. Marksman. Research. Okay, that's pretty cheap. Ship construction. So now we've got Marksman, which exploits vulnerable, not that useful. Weapons disruption. Okay, it'll have to be a rogue. It's not perfect, and I've definitely had better officers in the past, but I don't have much of a choice here. Well, at least I've got enough, uh, enough for this. Once we get up to tier two, this will probably get a little bit easier. Because, yeah, we'd have no way of dealing either of those for the time being. Okay. So let's see. You guys are here. That's a dead planet. Send a fleet. I forget I can use keyboard controls along the way here. Okay, and we've got a fair bit of dark matter here. So it's going to take a little while, but it's not a bad setup. Okay, you're maxed. Let's do let's do the loop back. We'll get some fuel over here. Probably should have stopped by that one, but it's also fuel, so it doesn't matter. Okay, quest done. Promote a second officer. Build a ship for your second officer. Explore room for the starbase. Research officer academy tech. Build the officer academy. Unlock third officer slot from the officer academy. Build a ship for the third officer. Done. Okay. Uh, we also got the rogue class starship. And you can, but you're currently busy on other things. So let's back away from this. Okay. And we're over here. Transfer fuel. Leave system. Uh, dark matter, grabbing all this. I'm just trying to, like, kind of speed through this as fast as possible. Because we need a ton of resources. Yeah, this seems to actually have a fair amount of stuff. We'll be able to... Probably should have stopped by here on the way through, but we'll get that later. Or maybe I'll get it on the way out, because there's nothing over here, so we might as well ping up. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Grab every supply we can. And eventually I'll probably have a, a B team that I can fly from one section to another, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. People are talking about me getting a sub button for Twitch. Looks like my chances of getting a sub button for a while are gonna be kind of diminished. Sadly, but it's kind of life. I don't know. I don't play specific enough games. Uh to get a sub button on Twitch, and it doesn't exist on YouTube, which is kind of, it's kind of a shame. Let's see, does YouTube live and Twitch share viewers or something? Cause, no, they don't. I wish, but it doesn't work like that. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so, cool, engineering ships, I didn't, okay, I didn't, oh, geez, these guys are, these guys are the tough ones. But that's fine. 
But yeah, the nice the nice part about uh, the way I do things though is YouTube more than makes up for the fact that I'm not. Uh, uh, YouTube more more than makes up for the fact that I, I'm not nearly as successful on the streaming platforms. Mostly, I just stream because I want to, I guess. Okay, let's disable this sucker. They're both blinded for the time being. I go from here. Probably should have actually. Oh shoot. I didn't do anything to him. Whatever, we'll just cycle repeat. This is gonna hurt. Luckily, we got heals. We have one heal. We might have two. We have two. Okay, that will be okay. Um, let's just go back to bleed. Bleed exploiting this thing. Honestly, what I should probably do is shoot this guy with the portal cannon and let the bleed roll for at least a little while. Damn. These things suck. Yeah, so we do have cauterize hall. Okay, that's helpful. So I'll, I'll let that run for a second, make them both bleed, and that way we can alternate between bleeding and and blasting. Personally, I'd like to kill one of them faster. I might have to do that, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Go from here. Uh, let's do an upload virus. These guys hurt. At least I might be able to... At least these dudes aren't that dangerous. They're pretty dangerous. This is a rough fight to come across. I'm not a fan. Once there's only one of them, this will get a lot easier. <laughs> We're also evading like a crazy person. Okay, this is good. Okay. Neither one of them's bleeding, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. He's going down pretty fast. Let's throw another heal. Uh back the way of the night for the time being. And one interesting thing I've run into as far as Twitch versus YouTube streaming and stuff is YouTube chat actually is like substantially more talkative than Twitch. I've always wondered why. Um, and I've never really figured out much of a much of a reason. It's confusing, but it also doesn't matter too much. Also, we're going to win this fight, which I was kind of worried about. Uh, let's see, when do the streams end nowadays? Honestly, uh, probably within the next half an hour. Uh, I've been... Okay, we need to go back to healing. Specifically, get rid of the weapons disruption. Cause... Oh! It doesn't get rid of weapons disruption. That's a, that's a bad. Oh, it's okay. It's because small children can work on YouTube and not Twitch. I guess. Uh, it's weird, though. It's, like, even even when it isn't, like, the, the younger audiences, um... I, I've definitely noticed, like, YouTube is more talkative than Twitch, just as general. I guess it's because people have become more accustomed to just kind of hanging out and watching, um, watching on Twitch and not actually talking a whole lot. Um, whereas, like, um, I think YouTube, it's a little bit fresher. People are not quite used to, uh, just hanging out and not talking at all. Not like it really matters, it's just kind of an interesting... It's an interesting observation that I always come across. Okay, he's almost dead. I was a little bit worried about this fight, but we have healing, so I don't have to worry too much. Okay, oh yeah, there is a retreat button, but never give up, never surrender. That was a lot of dark matter, and we got a two-star ship. Nice. And once I have three, three ships, this will get much, much easier. Yeah, so let's bop up here. Okay, hey! So we've got a new cadet, maybe. What? What? Okay. Flicks. Sh suicide runs, not great. Flicks weapons disruption. Let's do a reroll and see if I get lucky here. Backstab maneuver, tempting. Into the fray, super tempting. Suicide run, kind of tempting. Very tempted to go with that guy. What else do we have? This, this is. What I want is the guy that does the the engines down shot. But I guess we don't have a shot at that one. Well, I guess we'll do a uh, obler or dude. Okay, so scour officer candidates. The problem is too much of this cost me a lot of crew, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's have... Let's actually see what the differences are between Enya... Cloak, 
dimensional flashbang does inflict engines down, weapons disruption. And fire at will. So actually, Enyakan is perfect. I didn't realize it. Okay, so we want to go to the officer's court. No. We want to go to the tech. No. We want to go here. We want to do improved learning habits with Yamaz. Confirmed task. Okay, so that's going to take a while. That'll be fine. We'll have three ships. Okay, let's let them keep going. Grab the dark matter. I'm trying to grab as many resources as possible before I go back home. Because uh, I personally don't really feel like being out and about for a little while. And we might actually be able to snag some sweet upgrades while we're here. We'll see. Let's see. Make the second guy take the ship. Actually, it looks like the first guy was better. I just didn't even realize uh, he was. And it's fine. I'll definitely go out of my way to have like a better setup soon enough. Okay, we've been attacked by pirates. Okay, where am I? Who am I being attacked by? Oh, it's this guy, an arbiter. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's start with the na nano restoration field. We're a little bit in injured and stuff like that. Let's see, what time zone, zone am I in? I'm currently in Central Time. I moved away from the uh, East Coast actually a couple weeks ago, uh, so currently I'm actually in Kansas. Um. I've been in Kansas for a while. What's that? Precognition. Huh. I well, might as well hit, hit him with the disable. Um, but yeah, I, I moved from uh, Massachusetts to Kansas specifically because of Google Google Fiber. Because um, I desperately needed better internet uh, than what I had. And so I was like, alright, let's just move halfway across the country and make it work. And it's actually working out pretty well. Um, I don't know, I I really like it here. It's a really, really nice apartment. And there we go, there's the damage I was looking for. Okay, we should have more than enough materials. Grab the fuel, give the system. Let's see, and let's just return home. There we go. That's a lot of resources. Uh, are there any tech upgrades we can work with here? So we've got Reactor, this. <sighs> They're expensive. But they give me a lot of extra fuel. Ship repair bay. Improves repairs. Tempting. Propulsion lab. Fuel efficiency and speed up. Uh, and sp travel speed upgrades. Tempting. Or a fuel plant. Well, otherwise we definitely need to get the cadet ba barracks. Because that's going to be useful along the way. Probably the most. So why don't we do that? We don't need another ship for a little while, so let's work on getting the propulsion lab. I need more materials for that. Okay, so we've got some upgrades to throw around. So we've got broadside salvo. We want drone repair overdrive. That's always the most useful thing. Stasis lock, ship disable, weapons disruption, crew pan panic, exploits hull breach. Very tempting to go with this one. Let's go with warp atomic structure, because we always can exploit hull breach. Okay, and now that we've got that, let's start clearing out some, um... Let's start clearing out some areas. On the, uh... On the space station. Oh, and looks like the Zlar and some pirates are coming. Okay. So we've got... Hello. Commander, we've run into a curious sight. One of those mechanical Borgoth creatures seems to be floating along the periphery of the room. Some sort of unbreakable loop. Unlike the other Borgoth we've encountered, this one doesn't seem to be hostile. In fact, it seems like it might be trying to help us. Ignore it? Ignore it. Your crew ignored the malfunctioning Borgoth, as you requested. After a few hours, however, it begins making some horrendous sounds that turn out to be a kind of distress signal, precipitating the arrival of dozens of Borgoth to the area. Your crew quickly abandons the area, losing nobody in the process. However, the starbase area is now controlled by the Borgoth, and need to be handled before any construction can occur there. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh, let me take a look at the star starbase. So, we'll just have to wait, or something. I think I'm also going to get attacked. Well, we got the Zlar ambassador first. So, the Zlar Yanthu directorate. Okay. 
Uh, Federation Commander, greetings from the Honorable Zlar Yanthru Directorate. Seems as though the biological super weapon you're clearly developing has gone loose and is rapidly proliferating across Federation space. We hope you have learned not to pursue such folly in the future. Uh, those aliens, you think we made them as some kind of weapon? Oh really, you expect us to think you weren't breeding monstrous flesh beasts to release on our empire in your secret quest for galactic do domination? Uh, no? Oh, fine then. Don't admit your charade. I promise you, our flame famed Zlar Yanthru bioweapons experts will eventually capture one of those creatures and expose the Federation fingerprints all over its genetic code. Uh, be my guest. One final warning. Do not approach or interfere with any Zlar territories or colonies. Unlike the Zlar Norch or Zlar Kadoro, may they all roast in the great hellfires of the Slack Thriss. The Zlar Yanthru Directorate wishes no outside contact with any race. Do not intervene in our affairs, Terran. Fine. Okay. Oh, hey. Shell's watching. Hi, Shell. Uh, and then pirates. Understood. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Acknowledged. Pause. Pirates. Send fleet. Everyone now. All together now. Kick their ass. Yes. Oh, hey. Uh, so we're done with that. Memory retention drills. Sure, why not? I'm just gonna keep throwing materials at this. Uh, cause extra experience is always useful. Okay, and now we've got a full fleet, so now we can actually ki kick some serious ass. Uh, slowly. Ish. Okay, so let's do upload virus. I think we have something that... exploits sensors offline, but I'm not... Yeah, we do. Let's do harass on him. There he goes, and this is why you want the entire slew of everybody. So we have, I guess I'll just do bleed on him, because we'll do another, another hairy mode here. Hurts a bit, but doesn't matter that much. Let's just heal up. God, I love the, uh, love the nano restoration field. Feels really good. Okay. And yeah, we can use harass as much as we want. Beautiful stuff, really. Okay. Guess we'll just do salvage harpoon to him. This is not gonna take long. I guess this will do a fair amount of damage. Sadly, sadly, the science ships always kind of suck in terms of damage and whatnot. But still. And decent amount of resources actually for a very small group. Oh, hello. Our fleet managed to secure something from the pirate wreckage. It seems to be some sort of map. Bring your fleet to the starbase and we can decode it. Alright. Uh, hunt down pirates. So destroy one fleet. Loyal, two, three. And we get a little reward. Nice. Okay. We were able to decode the pirate map, which gave us the positions of the different pirate clans. It should It would be better to deal with them individually rather than handle them all at once. Okay, so we've got a bunch of pirates all over the place here. I also don't know if any of these stars can be raided for materials and stuff. Well, let's think. Uh, first and foremost, we've got some upgrades to do. So cloak, kind of useful, but not really. Dimensional flashbang inflicts engines down and weapons disruption. And fire will. Both pretty good. Self-vulnerable. I guess let's do dimensional flashbang. Cool down three rounds. Cool down. Yeah, dimensional flashbang. Sadly, we don't have anything else better, but I think eventually we'll get a, a better combo. Because what else we got? Dimensional... Uh, into the fray. Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to be using this guy for the most part as... Uh, as uh, for, like, clearing stuff. Okay, repair bay. Research upgrades for improving starship repair. Tempting, but wasn't there something expensive? Yes, there was. There was the propulsion lab, which we do want to get. Because speed is important. Unfortunately, propulsion lab is expensive. 350. Eh, we'll get there. Okay, uh, so I got a whole slew of people. Let's save and go after Cuts Corpses, probably. It'll just be. Is it day 45? Yeah, it's day 45. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Do I launch everybody? Should be good. We don't have any diplomacy with the cut, cut coursers, and I don't like cut anyway. Might as well repair all. We're not taking. We're not terribly damaged, and this is fine. I like the upgrade system that they have switched over to. I think it's a really. Uh, I, I think it's a really well done system comparatively. Like they, they have taken feedback and done absolutely wonderful things with it. I, I have nothing but impressed with how this game has developed over the last couple of months. It's really nice actually to come back to it and see a game that's, well, doing really freaking well and looking really nice actually. Let's see. Uh, what do we want to do? Inflicts. Oh, wait. Wow. Yeah, we can just do engines down whenever we want. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, this is perfect. Cri crippling shot is like my favorite. Because, yeah, now I can do. Um, I can do Flak Barrage. Let's start with the Salvage Harpoon. Lay as many status effects on as him as we can. That way, everybody can just smash him. So there's one. Uh, let's see. God, I love it. I, I love the uh, status effect exploitation system in this game. It is so amazingly well done. I just destroyed that guy in very little time. Feels good. Okay, so incoming hypercast, sir. Federation, you may have vaporized my subaltern, but your pesky Federation freighters will melt before my flagship's guns. That being said, I suggest a grand bargain between Cut and the Federation. Come to my position so that we may converse freely, or engage in glorious combat. The choice is yours. Okay. And there's a fair amount of dosh, actually. Can I... Can I make the propulsion lab? Hey! That's good. So now we're going to be up against Cut if I want to. Honestly, with the, the three-ship combo, let's just go kick his ass. I don't even think we took damage there. Good stuff.